Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Latoya. If you've been here before, then welcome back. In this video, I'll be creating a look using the Vanessa Times Juvia's Place palette. This is my second time using this palette. However, this is my first time creating a dedicated video just for this palette. When I was looking at this palette, trying to figure out exactly like what kind of makeup look I was gonna create. I was looking at it and I was like, oh wow, it has orange and pink, and then it has like these neutral browns, and then the these shimmers on top. The first thing that came to mind was the TikTok viral blush application that's been going around this summer because of the orange and the pink and then also because of this highlight right here and I was like wouldn't it be cool if I created that using this palette in my makeup look and I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the makeup application if you want to skip past this part I'm gonna put a time step down here somewhere in this area so that you guys can go ahead and skip right to the application of the palette. The first step to my makeup application is applying my primer. The primer I'm using is the Derma Blend Insta Grip Jelly Primer. While I allow my primer to set, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my brows. What I'm gonna be using to do my brows is the Danessa Myrex Beauty Groundworks. And I am going to take this shade here, which is sculpted, and a little bit of chisel. So I'm gonna use chisel on the inner corner of my brows and then sculpt it on the outer corner just to deepen up the ends of my brows. Now that my brows are shaped, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel and just apply it to my brows. Now that my brows are done, I'm going to go ahead and conceal under my eyes. So to color correct, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Fox Filter Color Corrector and the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now when I color correct under my eyes, I just like to use like three dots under each eye. And in between the dots, I like to apply my concealer. I like to allow it to set to kind of dry a little bit and then I'll blend it out. While that is going, I'm going to apply my foundation. The foundation I'll be using today for this look is the Fenty Beauty, the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Even though it's been a while since I've used it because I've really been like on my makeup forever kick. I'm like, you know what? I have all these other foundations that I need to use and I just need to like... Let me use those up before I use up the stuff that I really like because like when I go out... I use my makeup forever and then like when I'm doing my tutorials, I use my makeup forever. I'm like, no, no, no. I use my other foundations in my tutorials because a lot of times I don't really be going anywhere and I just be like washing it off anyway. I don't know if you guys know this, but in my last video, hold on, wait, I'm gonna I'm do this and then I'm gonna get back to the tutorial. I know some of you guys are not here for that. Anyway, like my last video that I did, I used like a foundation stick that I haven't used in so long and I didn't even realize that stuff was like so orange on me. I didn't realize it until I was like editing. Actually, I probably did notice it when I was recording, but I was like, shoot, sometimes you just already in too deep. But anyway, so we're using the Fenty Beauty for this look. But honestly, I probably need to do a declutter. It's, it's time for me to do a declutter.
Now that my under eyes blended in, I'm just gonna take a flat definer brush and a little bit of my foundation. I'm gonna use that to sketch around my brows to kind of give them a little bit more shape. Since this makeup look is not gonna be like a very bright eye, I'm pretty much focusing more or less on the blush and then I'm gonna bring the eyes into the blush. But pretty much this makeup look is gonna be mostly focused on the sunset blush. And because of that, I'm not gonna do like a bright um, Priscilla on the eyelid or eyeshadow base on the eyelid. Now at this point, what you guys are gonna see me doing is just pretty much blending everything out just to make sure that everything is smooth before I go through and set my face with um, either my foundation powder or setting powder. Now don't get me wrong, this powder puff, the pizza puff, <laughs> I actually got that name from one of my subscribers. She called it a pizza puff and I thought it was so cute, but with the piece of puff, this is really good for like larger areas, but when I'm trying to get like my eyelid and things of that nature, it's a little bit too big to get those spots. So that's pretty much what I'm doing with the brush is just making sure that I'm hitting all those smaller areas so that everything will like blend nicely without any like streaks in. Now that I have my foundation blended to my liking, I'm gonna take another powder puff that I use strictly for powders, and I'm gonna take my ju Ooh. I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place foundation powder to set underneath my eyes. Whatever access that I have on the powder puff, I'm just bringing it down around my nose, pretty much in areas that you tend to crease. Now I'm gonna use my Hourglass Translucent Veil to um, set the rest of my face. So since this makeup look, at least when it comes to the eye, it's gonna be very much so a neutral eye. I'm gonna start off doing my contouring. What I'm using for my contour is my Makeup Forever Artist Sculpt Powder. And I'm just gonna take like a blending brush. This is like a medium sized um, blending brush. This is the Morphe M43. And I'm pretty much just gonna start right here in the crease. Not trying to add too much color. I just wanna bring back the definition before I go in with my palette. Once my eyes are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that into my nose contour. And now I am going to take a larger, most likely an angle brush. Let me see if I can find one. That's the key. Can I find a angle brush? Yes, I found one. So this one is the Luxie 504 Large Angle Brush. Take this same powder, tap off a lot of that excess, and I'm just going to stipple it right here in my cheekbone, my cheek area, just to kind of sculpt things out. Pretty much this is all I'm gonna be doing before I go into the palette. There we go, just a little bit, not too much, something light, but you know, it's there, it's there. All right, so now we're about to go ahead and jump into the Juvia's Place palette, but before we do that, I need some chapstick lip gloss or something, because these lips, I'm sure I'm probably gonna take this off later on to do a different look, but this is just for now. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the palette. So what I'm thinking that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the blush because I know me and the way that I've been doing my blush, I've been doing kind of more of like a strobing type feel. I've been bringing the blush into my eye. So I'm going to kind of do like a two in one 
when it comes to this eye look let me start off with this pink shade here this is called akua but yeah i'm gonna start off with akua oh this is like a bright pink oh this is serious and the way that this sunset look is supposed to be orange pink and then it has like a gold highlighter on top of the cheekbone so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the pink Now, every time I tap this brush into this eyeshadow, I do tap it off a little bit on the back of my hand just to kind of keep have a little bit more control of how much I'm applying to my face because I don't want to, I don't want it to be like too much, but I still want it to be, you know, I want it to be pretty, but I don't want it to be too, too much because, you know, once you add it, you can't take it away. You can't always take it away. I know I do have like little tips and tricks where you can take some of it away just in case you get a little bit too heavy handed, but you know, we trying to stay away from that because a lot of times when you get to, when you start moving along towards that territory, then you have the chance of it looking cakey. Okay, I think that's enough now, for now. And then I'm gonna start with the orange, at least on this side. Let me go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so this is what we looking like right now. Okay, so to apply the pink shadow, I used the Luxie 522, which is a tapered highlighter brush. And now I'm gonna use the Luxie 660, which is the precision foundation brush. With this brush, I'm going to take the shade Stash, which is the orange, dusting a lot of that product off on the back of my hand, because you see how pigmented these shadows are. I am going to apply it right here in this area. Okay, now that I have it there, I'm just going to do the same steps on the other side. Like, it's bright. I hope it's not looking like cray-cray in the camera. I won't know until I finish editing, but right now it doesn't look too bad. No, it don't look, it don't look bad. It don't look bad at all. Okay, cool. All right, so now the next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take another blending brush. I'm gonna do a, a small taper blending brush. This one here is from Cinch Beauty. It is the E02. And I'm gonna take this shade here, which is the BSG, this brown here. I'm just gonna take this shade and then kind of like shaping my eyelid. Okay, so pretty much I'm just applying this to my crease. I didn't realize that it's gonna be this pigmented. I just wanted it to kind of give like the same feel that I was getting from when I applied my contour powder from the Makeup Forever, the sculpting powder. But it's a little bit more pigmented than what I expect, so we're just gonna work with it. Let me go ahead and do the other side. See, this is the feel that I was trying to go for. This over here, this eye, this is what I was trying to do. But I applied too much on the other side. So we're just going to have to make it work, baby. We're going to have to make it do what it do. I don't know. I'm like, should I like start over? Because this is really the vibe that I was trying to go for. Okay, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this eye off a little bit to fix it so that it can look like this. Because this is what I want it to look like. This is what I end up 
doing and this is not what I want. This is not what I want. Not for this photo. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it. Okay, so it looks good. It looks good. It looks the way that I want it to look. Now I'm just going to take this large blending brush, and which is my Molly blending brush. I don't know what number. It's just a Molly brush. And I'm going to go with Busy, which is this shade here. I'm pretty much just going to apply that to my brow bone right up here just to lighten up that area a bit. Now what I'm going to do, because I didn't do it earlier, I'm going to apply some of my Laura Mercier in the rose. This is the setting powder right underneath my eye in this area. This is going to help with the creasing and it also is going to lighten up the color as well. Lighten up the blush a little bit to kind of give it more of that like ombre look. And while I let that set a little bit, I'm gonna go back with my Hourglass Translucent Veil with a large fluffy brush. Cause one thing I forgot to do is hit my ears because I did apply foundation to my ears this go around. Let me turn over, turn over here a little bit. I did apply foundation to my ears this go around. So I want to add a little bit of setting powder to that area. While I'm allowing that to sit, I am going to add a little bit of inner corner highlight. I'm going to take my pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30. And I believe I want to take this shade here, Perfectionist, and apply it right here on my inner corner. And let me take a little smudge brush as well. This is the Sigma E21. Going back with the BSG. And I'm just going to apply a little bit right here on my lower lash line. Alright, so my camera tapped out. <laughs> I try to avoid that, but this time I didn't catch it. So my camera tapped out. But where I left off at is I used my smudge brush to apply um, BSG on my lower lash line. I did not apply it all the way to the inner corner. I just usually do like two thirds or halfway of my lower lash line. And then I use the brush that I used on my lid, the Cinch E02 to blend it out. I did not apply any additional product. I just used the product that I used when I applied the shade with the smudge brush and I just blended it out. As you can see, I applied lashes. If you need a video that's more detailed of how I apply lashes or how to apply lashes, I will put it up above in the eye. So it should pop up on the top of the screen right about now. And you can click on that to get more detail of how to apply lashes. And I also apply a little bit more of brow powder on the outer corner, the wing part of my brow, just to give it a little bit more definition since a lot of that was brushed away when I was doing the blush. And now that we're caught up, I'm going to line my lips and then we're gonna do the finale. So to line my lips, I'm going to use the, du the Juvia's Place Luxie Liner in So Rare.
Now I'm just gonna take my finger and smudge out the line just so that it won't be so harsh. I am going to use the Juvia's Place, the Candy Shop Pearl, Pineapple Pearl Lip Gloss on top. I figured this would be something cute and fun for this look. Okay, so let's get to the finale. So I'm gonna take this um, large blending brush, the one that I've been using for powder, and I'm just gonna dust off this powder from underneath my eye. To top off this look, in order for it to be the sunset, it needs a highlighter. So the highlighter I'm gonna use for this look is going to be this shade here. This is extra. I figured that this would be really pretty as for uh, a highlight for this look. So let me take this brush here, which I love to use for highlighter. This is the Morphe M501 brush. And I'm just gonna add it right here on the top of my cheekbones. I'm gonna do a little bit here because I do like to add highlighter there, but if you don't like to put highlighter right there, don't do it. Let me do a little bit on my cupid's bow. All right, so I'm gonna take the brush, just dust a little bit excess off, just to make sure everything is blended. Not necessarily to take away, but I just like to make sure everything is blended. Now I'm gonna set my face with a little setting spray. Let me see, what setting spray am I gonna use today? Actually, you know what? So now I'm just gonna make sure everything is melted together using the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Now look, all this time I've been using the MAC Prep and Prime, the Fix Plus, the MAC Fix Plus as like a setting spray, but it's not really a setting spray. Did you guys know that? It's like, a, it's a spray that kind of like merges and blend everything together. Like let's say if you apply too much like powder, it kind of helps, you know, make it look less cakey. I didn't know that. Now that the MAC Fix Plus is set on my face, it's dry, everything. I'm going to set my face with the One Size Until Done setting spray. All right guys, so this is the ended look. I'm really happy. I'm really pleased with the way this came out. At first I was a little scared because I was like, oh my goodness, is the pink a little bit too bright? But honestly it's not. It's very much so wearable. I would wear this like on a regular day. I'll probably wear this more or less like if I'm going out late at night. And the only reason why I say that is because daytime I feel like it may be a little bit too much. A little, just a little bit too much. But if I'm like going out to the club, it's perfect because like when the lights are low, you won't really be able to see it as, as it's, it's not as bold. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like because I use eyeshadows, the pigment is very like, boom, this is punchy. It's like in your face. But I really do love the way that it looks. I really love the way that it came out. I feel like if I want to turn it down a little bit more, I probably could apply some setting powder on top to kind of like blend it, you know, to settle it down a little bit. But honestly, overall, I really love, y'all, I really want to have to like pull this look out out and like recreate it and actually go out somewhere with it but yeah if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please do subscribe thank you all for watching and remember you're made for more see you next time bye